To many, it seems like AI has just come out of nowhere. They may have heard about it at a movie or read a book that talked about you know, future AI, but now it seems to be ubiquitous. It's actually been going for quite some time. We've been leading up to this for decades. 25 years ago when I was studying, I remember looking at an algorithm that could identify handwritten zip codes and automate through computer vision the detection of what numbers were actually being written. And that was being used so that the US Postal Service could automate with greater efficiency their delivery of the mail. And so I remember thinking, this is going to be fantastic. Um, I myself, when I studied, my dissertation project was on an algorithm that powers the uh, machine learning methods today. And so this has actually been coming for some time. It wouldn't be here without three things that have really evolved. One of these is great computing power. Computers have just gotten so able to do automated iterative processing that overcomes a lot of the limitations that were making us just talk about things theoretically 30 years ago. Second is algorithms have been developed that now enable us via those iterative computer processes to do incredible things and know incredible things about our data. So the algorithm, the neural network that underpinned that zip code example is actually the same neural network that underlies ChatGPT today. And third, we needed the data in order to be able to execute on, on creating value from these things. And about a decade ago, businesses realized that they had quite an asset at hand in their own internal data. In some cases, they knew more than anybody else in the world about a certain problem just because they had data. Let me give you an example of that. I served as the head of machine learning at a digital health tech that uh, served women's health needs. And they had six years of data regarding side effects of medications that was in their uh, messaging and their chat records. Now that's not easy data to extract value from, but could we extract value, and that was my job, was to figure out how to do that, we would eventually know more about the side effects of different medications than the authors of the original studies when they were going through FDA approval. So that sort of asset was incredibly valuable for that health tech. And that story plays over and over again across businesses around the world. So those three pieces all of a sudden have converged. So in a lot of ways, it's natural that we would be seeing something like a chat GPT do what appears to be magic out of nowhere. It really has been evolving here and we've been expecting it from the field for some time.